This conference uh, will now be recorded. Here, I can go with all traffic here, and I can go with uh, uh, custom anywhere. Okay, I can go with a review and launch. Okay, I'm launching this particular instance. Okay, right now I'm launching with particular instance. What this is my internal condition. What we done in previous, previously. Okay, instance type is T2 Micron, and this is one GB memory allocation, and it is very easy to uh, flexible for us. And uh, so we can launch the particular instance. Okay, launch the instance, and it will ask the security key, and it will ask the security key. So if I want to go with a new key for this. So I can go with uh, Ubuntu on our Linux Linux server Linux server. Okay, I'm done. So I'm downloading the key pair because we are working with the cloud. So we are not working with the permission so the username password. Okay, I'm working with the cloud. I want to go with the downloading the key pair. I'll I'll tell you what this key pair here. Okay, see here the key pair is downloading. The key pair is currently dot pem file. So in generally, if you are working with the cloud, definitely uh, you need to understand the uh, how how we can go with the download in the key pairs. So this key pair will work under the dot ssh file. Dot <laughs> ssh file secure socket layer. Okay. So the, basically we are working with dot ssh files, and because for the privacy, see here a key pair consisting of public key and that AWS can store the private key file. So we are going with the security version, okay? And moreover, it will allows the Windows and it will allows the some different types of servers as per the uh, cloud needs, okay? For every every key pair having their own different IDs, own different IDs, okay? So I'll show you that one also. Launch the instance. So I'm launching the instance, okay? So so view the instance. So once you've done the instance, I want to view the particular instance. That's very important. Okay, so I'm viewing the instances. Uh, come down. Yes. Uh, okay. So this is the instance which we are running currently. Okay, without any name. Uh, so I, I want to give this particular name for this. Okay. I'm giving the name uh, that is uh, Linux admin. I'm going with the Linux admin. I'm saving the name. One minute. Your link, uh, maybe madam link is very. I don't know what to say, but one minute. Um, I want to view the name admin. Okay, I'm saving the name with admin. Okay, uh, fine. Okay, see here, my instance is currently running. Maitri, understood? Okay, so this is the this is how we are running the instance. Okay, now I want to uh, now I want to connect with the client terminal. I want to I want to I want to go with uh, some practice session on Linux. So we we uh, we are uh, we are just done half of the part of how to create an instance. Okay. Now mm -hmm. I want to connect the server. That's very important. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for this, what we'll do is we have to download one, one more thing that is uh, that is Git Bash. So this is a very friendly version. Okay. Uh, just you can download very easily without it is a, it, it won't charge anything else just to go you can go with uh, with this one okay it, it is just like a vlc player mm -hmm. download git bash okay uh, just download this one
see this is the interface of git bash okay uh, so the, uh, basically this is a client terminal for us okay so mm -hmm. if you want to work with a mac you can work with a mac you can select this and you can go uh, you can get download here and if i am working with the windows currently so i can go download here download for the windows so it is asking that uh, what type of configuration you have. So I am going with the 64 bit version currently. So see here it is downloading. This is the client terminal for us to connect the cloud. Okay, so, uh, okay, fine. Now, uh, so what we'll do is go for the particular folder. So this is a git bash. So this is the git bash for us. Okay, uh, it will the symbol will be like this. Okay, so just right click on this. Run as administrator. Take all the default actions, my brief. Okay, take all default actions. Next, 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 next. Okay, so it will down. It will be installed successfully. No need to worry about that. Okay, don't change anything else. I already installed, but I'll show you. Okay. So run as administrator, take all the default action, next, 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 next. Okay, it will automatically download, okay, without anything else. Okay, so now what is my interface of Git Bash? Okay, so my interface of Git Bash is like this. See here, this is the Git Bash. Okay. Mm. Okay, so this is the running terminal for us currently. Okay, mm. this is a comes under the CLI command line interfaces. Mm. So generally, generally, if you are working with the cloud, if generally if you are working with the cloud, this is the interface for us. Okay, so you can uh, we have some different types of interfaces. Okay, but the thing is, uh, why Git is very popular for us in DevOps is basically uh, the Git is com comes under the centralized version. And it will be very friendly version to all the developers, and they will they will go with a huge uh, particular programs on this particular uh, GitHub Git Bash repositories only. Okay, that's why it is very more popular in DevOps currently. Okay, so that's why I'm I'm using all this. Okay, so this is fine. Now, how to connect the server? This is very important. So if you want to connect server, so whatever we downloaded the PEM file. So previously we downloaded the PEM file, right? Okay. Previously, we downloaded the PEM file, right? This is Linux server.pem. Okay. So, whatever you have a key, so we are in downloads currently. We are in downloads currently. So, we, ha we have a key here. Okay. So, if you're, if you're copying and you can paste any folder, that's your wish. Okay. So, the thing is, whatever you have a PEM file, please click on, right click on this. Go for Git Bash here. So, because we are working with the key currently. Okay. We are, we are working with the key currently. So now, okay. So currently, where we are, we are in downloads. We are in download file. Okay. So now I want to connect the server. That's very important. If I want to connect the server, see here, admin. Where it is running mode currently, uh, and uh, and and you can check here. So we have, we have two types of keys. That is public and private key. See here. This is a public key and this is a private key. Whenever you are running any instances, we have some public and private keys. That's very important. Okay, so uh, so this is this is what we are working on public and private key. And after that, this is running mode currently, and you can connect this particular file. Connect to this. See here, we have SSH hyphen high. So whatever we are download the PEM file, that is Linux server dot PEM. It is already defaultly stored here. Mm -hmm. Default is stored here. Click mm -hmm. on this. Click copy this particular command. Open the Git Bash and right click on this, and you can paste it here. Okay. So mm -hmm. press Enter. I already told you that it is secure socket. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this is how we are connecting the server. So how can I know that I was connected or not? How can I know that I was connected or not? In Linux, come in Linux, we have a, a command that is pwd present working directory. Mm. See, I was in Ubuntu. See here, home Ubuntu. Yeah. Right? Mm. 
Maitri, understood? Yes, yes. Huh. yes. So this is a connection of AWS, AWS cloud. Okay, very, very easy and very, very flexible for us. And we can uh, easily work with this. Okay, so this is how we are connecting the server. Okay, so this is uh, uh, today's class and tomorrow we'll see the commands, different types of commands, how we can work with the Linux. Okay. Sure. Uh, Sh Maitri, can you share your email ID so I can send the record uh, for you? Yeah. Uh, because uh, I don't know if your admin is recording or not, but the thing is, I just want to know that uh, even I can share the record for you. It's very, very easy to take this. Okay. Okay, fine. Maitri, can you chat? Uh, can you put in chat box? Sure, sure. I'm doing it. Okay. Okay, my three zero one zero eight and the email account. Okay, uh, I'll copy this file. My three, any doubts up to now? Everything is clear. Uh, yeah, let me go through the session again because this is all new to me. So, okay. let me. Go. Actually, today, yeah, yeah. Actually, today, I just want to go with very basic things because how to connect the server and how to connect the connect the how what is what is the Linux. So I want to go with this session today, and tomorrow we'll see the commands how we are working with the servers. Okay, so this is one of the basic things which we are working. Uh, so this is all about. This. Okay, let's go with your with the video. If it, everything is going on good, that's fine. If you have any doubts, please ask me tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Thank you and thank you, Maitri, and have a great day. Thank you so much. You have a good day. Thank you. Thank you.